Hey guys, I'm Tony from Tony Touches Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to change your max upload size in WordPress. Now, for me specifically today, I am working with the all in one WordPress migration plugin to move my website from one hosting provider to the other. And in order to do that, you have to upload your WordPress website as a single file. And the limitation, as you can see here on the screen, is 16 megabytes. We can't upload anything to our web host that's bigger than 16 megabytes. So, this plugin suggests the following. It says we can update the HT access file, which I tried, that didn't work. We can also update the WordPress config file, which I tried, that didn't work either. And the other thing is to contact your hosting provider, which uh, we don't have to do that because we have Tony teaches tech here and he's gonna teach us how to do it. And then the last suggestion is to use a plugin, which you have to pay for. We don't wanna spend any more money than we have to, so let's do it manually for our own purposes. So how do we do that? If you have root access, it's actually very easy. So I want you to open up a terminal window and SSH into your web host. For me, it's root at this IP address. For you, it's gonna be something different. This is a little bit of a technical uh, tutorial, but that's okay, I'll walk you through it. So once you're SSH into your web host, you wanna edit a file in here. If you're, if you're root already, you don't have to prefix this with sudo. So the file for me is going to be at etc php, the version of your php for me it's 7.2, apache2, and then php.ini. And here we want to look for something called upload underscore max file size. I just saw it there. And as you can see, that matches up with the max upload file size that we just saw. So let's make this uh, just a future proof ourself one gigabyte. And the next thing that we want to look for is post max file size. Again, that's 16 megabytes. Let's make that match up with the one gig that we just typed in. Uh, let's set that value and restart our PHP. Excuse me, not PHP. We'll restart Apache 2 server with S or it's system CTL restart Apache 2. Now if we go back to the place where we were trying to import our file originally, we'll refresh the page, and if we did everything correctly, there you go, it just changed from 16 megabytes to 1 gigabyte. And now we can upload that file that we wanted to upload. So uh, just for the sake of completeness for my own purposes, I'll go ahead and start that upload. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the context of helping you with web hosting, getting your website for your business up and running, and SEO stuff, all that stuff. So um, if you're interested in any of that, all the content on here is free. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.